Hi, I'm Kelly and uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm actually having my surgery tomorrow. Uh, it's been a good six months in six months in preparation and I'm nervous, I'm scared. I'm having all those thoughts that, uh, you know, should, am I doing the right thing? Should I do this? Uh, oh, I'm so excited of how I'm gonna look and uh, it's, it's a new life and uh, you know, just just really excited, nervous, woke up every hour on the hour last night, and uh, I I've, I've wanted to say that I have chosen uh, Dr. Verbunin, and I'm going to Cancun with Bariatric Mexico. I chose Dr. Verbunin because, well, I'll get into that another day. What I wanted to do right now was actually give you an idea of what to pack, because I did a lot of research on this, and Ladies, I looked at, ladies and gentlemen, I checked out all of your videos online, and there was, I, I might have uh, scaled over it, but I didn't catch anybody stating really what they were packing and some necessary items. So I was going to give you a sneak peek. It's not everything that I'm bringing, but uh, I have to remember that I'm spending time at a resort in Cancun, but I'm not going to feel well. <laughs> So, uh, I just need to pack lightly, but there's a few things that I needed to do that I thought we would take a look at, and uh, I don't know if you can see here, but um, <clears throat> I'm going to just bring a few items. There's my cat, London. He wants to get in my suitcase. So, <laughs> um, what I did do, actually, is uh, I decided... Uh, to bring a backpack. I bought a backpack last night, just ran out and grabbed a cute little sack. But, um, you know, uh, I thought it'd be perfect to travel on the plane. Uh, just put my passport in. Of course, I bought a little leather uh, holder for my, my, um, my passport, of course. And I wanted to tell you folks something about traveling to Mexico. Um, there's a tax to come back, so make sure that you have $20 American on you when you return. Also, when you go through customs, uh, now this is coming back from Mexico, um, or it's actually going into, you must know the name of the resort, the address, and the state that you're going to. This is going to be required of you. The better that you have that to memory, the easier your process is going to be. Now, um, and you, you want to make this as less aggravating as possible. I mean, truly, uh, you've gone through all this, so make it as simple as possible. Be good to yourself. So uh, let's look at some other things. I definitely brought a hat. What I've decided to do... Um, I have long hair and when you have surgery and you're in bed for a long amount of time your hair starts to knot so I've decided to do a bun uh, that seems to be what's in right now thank you Khloe Kardashian now I have to wear a bun um, after the surgery I'm told that uh, you're you're chapped you know your lips get chapped so definitely don't forget chapstick uh, must have uh, let's also see here uh, I brought uh, some toothpaste, um, toothpaste, toothbrush, of course, and, uh, you know, it's in Mexico, or it's Cancun, it's hot, so, um, dress for comfort, I'm bringing shorts, some skirts, and, uh, just pretty much staying at the resort, uh, can it is Cancun, it's not exactly the, it's definitely not the U.S., but it's still not it's still dangerous. You don't want to go out at night by yourself. You you want to take care and uh, be safe. So make sure that you you do travel with somebody and somebody knows where you're at. Um, you know, safety first. That's that's my thing. Um, I decided I I whipped out my old pashmina that I haven't used in quite a while. I thought that would be kind of fun to um, you know drape over me if I get chilly in the in the emerge in the uh, Victoria Center after the the procedure and then I of course I ran out and got myself some slippers because I live in Florida where it's hot so honestly I'm really always barefoot <laughs> so <laughs> not a good idea to do in a medical center so I just grabbed myself some slippers uh 
probably should have went with open toe so I could slip them on and off in case I need to use the, the facility. But uh, also, don't forget um, Gas X strips. I do have them packed already in my other suitcase. Um, it's a must. <laughs> it's a must have. That is a secret that I have learned that a lot of the uh, research that I've shown, even if your doctor doesn't let you have it, some people will sneak it in. Okay, because when you're done with your surgery, uh, from what I understand, there is a lot of gas because they have put air in your stomach so that they could expand your organs so that they could reach them uh, during the operation. So when you wake up from the anesthesia and you're not feeling well, guess what? You get to get up with your IV and walk around and make wind. <laughs> There's no other nice way to say it. But from what I understand, while doing so, a couple of those gas -X strips help. Uh, and uh, so I'm prepared. I'm ready for that. I... Uh, I don't know if I can have them, but I'm going to take them anyway. <laughs> um, trying to think of some... Oh, look, he wants to go. Hi, London. Do you, are you getting fat, too? you need gastric bypass, too? Actually, what I'm having... I'm not doing the guy bypass. I'm doing the uh, gastric sleeve. Uh, less invasive. And... Um, I wanted to talk to you more in my next video. I'll give you some more stats on Dr. Verbunin, and uh, I will also uh, take some uh, video of the plane and of the center. I have worked with the best co uh, patient coordinators, and, and it's just such a neat experience. Um, I'm excited, as you can tell. So uh, stay tuned, and, uh, and thank you for uh, taking the time to watch me and go on this journey. And we'll do it together. Have a great day. Mm.